So this is a Matchbox number 51C eight-wheeled tipper I did a while back. Uh, and I had to rob the tipper from another casting in order to restore this one. The other one was a super fast version, and I wanted to restore the 175 version. Uh, according to sources I checked, Lesney only sold this one for three years, 1969, 70, and 71, and it was a super fast for only a single year. They were yellow or orange and appeared in a few different liveries. My problem is that the odds of me finding a good tipper and a broken base are pretty long, and switching tippers from one casting to the next really has no end. So originally I was thinking of making a tanker truck out of it, and I 3D printed a tank for the back, and then I was looking online at some of the post-apocalyptic trucks that people made and had the idea of making a truck that was the center of a post-apocalyptic motorized unit uh, you know, from whatever government happened to survive. I was going to use the tanker and started making like a launch ramp, which was kind of a cool idea, but in the end I thought the whole thing was a little too bulky looking, so I changed up and I wound up with this. Uh, I sized a 40-foot Connex container uh, and 3D printed motorcycles, soldiers, and some bits and pieces for the truck, including different tires. Uh, the truck is painted with Tamiya XF7 flat red and the turquoise I mixed from uh, you know other flat paints. I've seen shipping containers like this, uh, this particular color all over the place. Uh, the silver parts were done with a sharpie and then a black wash was used over those parts but not the casting itself. The whole thing was weathered and then I applied uh, with you know brushes and pencils and etc. And I applied a single coat of Tamiya Smoke and a finish coat of Tamiya X86 Flat Clear. So I've also been working on this Hot Wheels Greased Gremlin for the next Three Blind Mice Gaslands group build which is going to be published on the 17th of April. Uh, it's a junkyard build, so I'm not allowed to print anything or buy any aftermarket parts. I have to use every things that I have in my junkyard. I have a ways to go, but an idea, so at least I know where I'm going. Uh, I'll be live on the bench again tonight or tomorrow, so uh, look for that if you like that kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed the project. This is Time Writer, and I'll leave the light on for you.